Look, man, if I really get like five seconds to make an impression, I have no idea how I'm supposed to start a video because I don't want to like have fake energy when starting my videos. I don't want to be fake. I want to be real. I want to be authentic. And I don't want to like, I can't, it just, it's kind of cringy to me to like fake over enthusiasm. I mean, you might have to kind of do that because that's kind of like the, I guess if you're keeping it traditional, that's kind of the, the route that you want to go, right? You want to like, you know, you want to really bring up the crowd, you know, you want to bring up the viewers and be like, hey, like it's, a, it's me, right? You're watching me and therefore you want to be enthusiastic or whatever, right? And be like, well, you know, get ready, right? This is the vibe, this is the energy that you, I'm keeping. This is what you're going to get when you're watching me, right? We're going to get, we're going to say fuck the bullshit. We're going to have some fun, right? Um, but I don't think I need to be like overly cringy to do that because I think people might be able to notice if you're faking it and like if you're not being authentic. So I'm keeping it authentic and I'm being me and I'm just doing this thing. That's not, that's not to say that I'm, I'm like going to make like a depressed intro like, hey guys. Welcome back to the channel. Like, no, like, I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> but here we got Einzel Ganger with Minimalism, the social minimalist. Can be, can we be happy without friends? Now, that's a very good question. I do want to know the answer to I'm sure you guys want to know the answer to as well if you clicked on this video. I mean, I'm guessing. I'm, I'm going to try not to make this too uh, long of an intro. But basically, um, it's a very intriguing question because it is very bad for our health. Of course, you know. I don't have to, I'm pretty sure I probably said it, or people watching this video should know. Our ancestors come from a long lineage, right? We have a lot of ancestors. I mean, we're warrior stock, like Jordan B. Peterson said, right? In a way, we've been alive for the past, like, three and a half billion years, right? With no fail, right? Just genetics being passed down, passed down, passed down. It depends on how you classify that, I guess. Uh, but humans have been around for a while, right? And we've been hunter-gatherers, you know, we needed to belong to tribes, and if we didn't get along with people we'd be kicked out of that tribe and we were tribal peoples because if we ever were alone we might not be able to get the shit that we need to survive therefore that's why people always want to fit in they always want to have friends it feels good to have friends it feels good to be good it feels good to be kind and to have a strong healthy relationship with somebody and it's just like that's all because well you know our hunter gatherer ancestors they needed that shit to survive they needed to be friendly they needed to fit in they needed to not be weird they needed to not be so different than everybody else they needed to fit in be like them they needed to get along with them that's why we have those feelings of embarrassment shame you know you, you had to have a social etiquette you gotta behave in a certain way because if you don't motherfuckers might think you're weird they're gonna kick you out they're gonna be like bam right they're gonna kick you out of the group you did and the genetics sort of evolved for that right the genetics knew that right your biological makeup received that input of death and it was like yeah we're going we're going to try not to do that right so we're going to enforce good feelings and we're going to enforce uh, health and all of that shit to make sure it's our own little insurance to ensure that whatever creature comes next they're going to have these mechanisms built in to want to do this because this is what helps them survive right and it's like well, it's super bad for your health if you don't have healthy relationships, if you don't have strong friends. It's actually about as bad as, well, like smoking a few cigarettes a day, I heard. About as bad as that for your health if you have to do like a direct comparison, right? Like if you have to put that image into your head of how, how, what that does to your immune system to like feel so lonely and to yearn for a relationship with somebody, right? It's just like, and when you feel like you have nobody, when you're all alone, that shit will kill you. But let's get right into it, man. And, you know, that's me. This is me in the summer, you know. This is me in the summer. I mean, I feel very lonely. You know, I have to admit that. I'd have to admit that. Um, usually, it's always just me, you know, starting uh, conversations. It's always me engaging in a conversation pretty much all the time. I mean, I can't say it's never happened that somebody has said what's up to me. And I do really appreciate that a lot. But it's very rare. You know, you'd be surprised. But what can you do? You know, I can't force it. And I don't know if I really want to always be the one. I mean, I, I can because I have been before, but it, it also, another bit of me is just like, should I keep doing this? I mean, do they even really like talking to me like that? Like, I don't want to, I don't want to get the ego involved as much as I, I hate to do it, but it's also like, well, there's a, there's a case to be made there. Like, should I really keep talking to this person? It seems like maybe they don't even want to talk to me. It seems like maybe they're just reacting just for the sake of 
you know, responding just because they don't want to be rude. But it's just like they couldn't care less if they never talked to me ever again. And it's just something to consider. And it's just like, well, let's get straight into it, man. Enough of that. A minimalist lifestyle concerns itself with minimizing the number of material resources we need to be satisfied. Okay. A tremendous benefit of this approach is the reduced cost of living. The less we need, the more time, money, and energy we save. So the West has a problem with this. To our social connections, to gain the same benefits. This can culture is not built with a this. minimal amount of friends, or even without friends. Ooh. Ideally, a social minimalist gets by with a minimal amount of social connections, just enough to fulfill his social needs. But many Which is how much is just with enough? Few or without friends, unhealthy and painful. Being friendless deprives us of the benefits of a social group. Yes. So is a lack of friends synonymous with a dreadful well, I mean, existence of loneliness group. and social isolation? But Do for the some friendless reason I just... indeed deserve our pity? People seem to agree that having friends is always better than having none. Yes. Therefore, we celebrate the blessing of friends. Having many friendships means we have many options to socialize and thus no shortage of pleasurable human interaction. Oh, hopefully However, pleasurable. However, as far as the social minimalist is concerned, having fewer friends has benefits as well. And in some cases, going without friends is the best option. How so? Can we be happy without friends? Are we considering this our healthier? This video explores the benefits and downsides of friendship, the current state of friendships, and if we actually need friends. Okay. Can we be happy without friends? That is the question we're going to be. The ancient Greek an philosopher to. Epicurus believed that we could attain peace of mind and freedom of suffering by wisely balancing our desires and seeking sustainable moderate pleasure. He created a hierarchy of needs as a roadmap by dividing natural and necessary desires, natural and unnecessary desires, and vain desires. Things like extreme wealth and fame he considered obsolete and impossible to satisfy but also luxurious food, marriage, and sex. Although he thought <coughs> these desires are natural, Epicurus saw them as unnecessary sex for unnecessary? a content existence. How much sex was he having? I mean, it, I, it, ain't that something to be considered, though? How much sex is he having? Like, let's be real here. Is this guy just, like, getting laid? I mean, he don't even seem like an ugly dude. He seemed like a handsome dude. He seemed like a man. This, if this man is touching anywhere near six feet, like, that's a fucking hunk of a man. Like, that's a good man. Or that's a good looking man right there. Look at this guy. Tell him you don't want to sleep with this guy. This guy looks like the, this guy looks like Zeus. He's built like, he's built like a, he belongs at Olympus. Like, he's a god or something. And this man ain't getting no sex. Like, is he really saying that? If he's having, like, tons of sex? Or at least moderate sex. Since this is the guy that's all about, you know, moderation and all of that. So, I mean, if you're having moderate, moderate sex, like... It's just something to consider. I'm not saying he's not. I'm not. He could be having that, and maybe he's just like, "Hey, it's whatever." Like you don't even really need it. And I mean, I'm. I sometimes do the same way. But to French, I'm not. I'm not. That's not trying to say I'm getting moderate shit. I'm not trying to say I'm getting moderate. I'm not getting moderate. Moderate nothing in that section right now. Not right now. Attributed <sighs> the same value as food and shelter, as he saw it as one of the greatest portals to pleasure and one that's generally easy to obtain. I quote, of all the means which wisdom acquires to ensure happiness throughout the whole of life, by far the most important is friendship, end quote. As opposed to romantic love, friendship, also known as philia, usually doesn't evoke strong emotions, and there's much less possessiveness and jealousy, as it's more non-committal. Philia centers around shared interests, utility, and enjoying the other person's company. According to Epicurus, Friendship is based on trust, treating each other well, and maintaining a generous attitude. Yes. If these criteria are met, friends allow us to share information about the world and our ideas, learn from their experiences, I could share and help lot. them with ours. Friends can lend us a help. I could share, I could share it a lot. Listen. I don't know. I might need new friends then, but I feel like because sometimes I feel like I go to share something and motherfuckers just aren't interested. They just don't care. Here, and words of advice in times of hardship. Also, being part of a social circle can open doors to various opportunities, like finding a partner. Epicurus chose to live together with friends, while enjoying the simple pleasures of eating bread and cheese and drinking weak wine. Oh, but you'll drink wine. If we extrapolate from you'll Epicurus' drink wine. views, we can see that the benefits of friendship still stand today. 
Also, we have far more they probably always now, will. as we can maintain friendships with people in other areas of the world, have friends exclusively online, and communicate with any friend I mean, whenever we want. But the emergence of modern means of yeah, communication it's just like and how today's societies are structured seem to render traditional ways of friendship obsolete. Most activities that require a social circle can be obtained elsewhere. For example, we can use services to talk about our problems or to move out. <laughs> we don't need to leave the house for discourse anymore as the online spaces offer a plethora of online groups, forums and communities. I mean, look at what I'm doing right However, now. I mean, to likely... get this kind of knowledge, where would I have to go? You know? I mean, who, who, you know, I don't know a single place where a guy would be doing like philosophy studies and, and like breakdowns and summaries or something like that. In a public place, like motherfuckers ain't doing that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I love tech, but I do, I do know that it has its limits. Like, it's just not. We're not built for this when it comes to social interactions, you know. And that's look at what the meta is trying to do, right? It's just like mm, I'll have to see. Uh, I'm remaining open to it, but it's just like it ain't nothing gonna top real world things. And it's just like, well, if real world shit is not an option, then. Well, obviously the meta, I'm not mad about it. You know, I'm, 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 I want to do some VR chat videos, by the way, too. That would be, that would be fun. Fellow thinkers online is much greater than meeting them offline because we're not limited to the people in our immediate environment. Yeah, but then... Or even our countries anymore. And even though online dating was a rarity in the early zeros... But you get, you get an echo chamber, though. Like all of the algorithms, they're just going, they are going to give you people that already believe what you already believe. But then that leads to ignorance, you know, that leads to people who are thinking that they, that what they believe is right because they are, they're not getting any content from an opposing view and therefore they're just going to stick by their view that could completely be wrong and stupid. 21st century, it has become the norm, meaning that we don't need to attend social gatherings anymore to find a mate. Oh, please, We can tender. also find quick and cheap entertainment through streaming services and video games, okay, which yes. many people prefer over a meetup with friends nowadays. So it appears that the necessity of friendship well, is slowly eroding and being replaced mainly by the increasing amount of options that technology offers. Nice the coming metaverse nice. will probably accelerate the disappearance of old-fashioned face-to-face interaction as humanity will largely I don't think it'll disappear. Reality. Some find the idea Dude, it's not supposed to replace anything. daunting. How can we possibly live without friends? But traditional friendship also comes with costs and downsides. Okay, the cost of a friendship. So you gave us the good news. Having friends is no free ride. Especially today in our individualistic societies, friendship in the traditional sense seems more challenging to obtain than in the times of Epicurus. We How focus so? very much on ourselves and our busy, hectic lives absorb most of our time and energy. Friends can be a blessing, but they're not essential to survive anymore. As C.S. Lewis well, they're not stated, necessary, but they still... Friendship is unnecessary. Like philosophy, like art, like the universe itself, for God did not need to create. It has no survival value. Rather, it is one of those things which give value to survival. End quote. For many, an extensive social circle has become a luxury good, as friendship seems more challenging to come by these days. It comes How with is costs that, Why is that, that not the case? everyone is willing to make. The first cost we can distinguish is time, which, with our busy lives, is often a scarce commodity. Do we want to exchange the little free time we have for the company of other people? Many choose not to, like going as to a they bar? instead spend their free time on solitary activities like creative pursuits. Mm. The second cost we can distinguish is energy. We're often so tired during the work week that we prefer spending our evenings in front of the television. Hence, we commonly practice friendship on the weekends, which means that we spend the energy left after our work weeks on socializing. Therefore, many choose to spend their free time in solitude to recharge. The that third is necessary cost would be though, resources, you know? as socializing requires money in many cases. Having no social life, therefore, saves money. But also, the lack of funds refrain people from socializing, which could cause social isolation among the impoverished. The fourth cost is more hidden, but still a the price we pay when we engage in social interaction. 
friendships require conformity to a certain extent, depending on the people we're dealing with. Consciously or subconsciously, oh, this is we what wish I to be about. liked by our friends and vice versa and meet mutual expectations. And thus, we present ourselves to appease them and sweep unwanted... When you say present interest. yourself, you don't mean your real self. You're, prese you're, you're presenting an image, right? A mask of somebody who you'd think they like. Is that what he means by that? Like, you gotta be your true self. I mean... I mean, you can, you know, this, if it's not completely bothering you and if it's not disintegrating your character, like one time I lied, I told a shorty I worked at Starbucks just because I didn't want, I didn't want to hear any more follow-up questions for what I do for work, bruh. Like, I didn't want to hear any follow-up questions, so I just lied and I was like, you know what, I work at Starbucks, right? And I don't work at Starbucks, I work somewhere, but it's not Starbucks. And whenever, when I said that, after I had said that later on in that day, I felt like fucking shit. Like, I, I felt so disgusted with myself. I felt like I had done something horrible. I felt like I had done something that was not wrong to society or for somebody else. It was wrong to me. Like, I felt like I had really just done something. Like, I went against my own character, my own values, my own morals, my own ethics. To, like, lie. Right? Because I'm a pretty honest person. I hate to lie. It's so stupid. I don't want to make up a lie. That takes up too much cognitive resources. I'd rather just tell the truth. But it's also like, well, motherfuckers are judgmental. Under the carpet. So we pay the price of wearing a mask among our friends, not showing the entirety of ourselves, afraid that we fall out of favor. But as Arthur Schopenhauer stated, we, we can you, only truly be ourselves in solitude, in which we can safely cast off our masks as there are no people to consider. That is true. But there's misery and bad friends. Oh yeah, bad friends. Bad to friends. Epicurean ideals. Friendships certainly can be a source of misery, especially with those that do not have our best interests at heart. Backstabbing. The Buddha urged people not to associate with the foolish, but with the wise. Associating with bad friends can be harmful and holds us back from associating with the wise who can improve our lives. If no this wise people are available, it's better to walk alone than to be accompanied by bad friends. One of the earliest Buddhist texts, known as the Rhino Sutra, advises us to wander alone like a rhinoceros. I quote, Avoid the evil companion, disregarding the goal, intent on the out-of-tune way. Don't take as a friend someone heedless and hankering. Wander alone like a rhinoceros. End quote. Many people have friends just for the sake of having friends. Often, they barely have That's standards true. for friendship, so they surround themselves with destructive individuals. For example, I mean, I'm we maintain to habits nice. like violent behavior and doing drugs to belong to a group that does Oh, fuck now. Or we tolerate and even adopt hateful ideas just to remain connected nope. with those. Anybody in a political party does, though. Consider friends. Or we put up with the bullying and ridicule by our so-called friends that nope. go beyond playful banter just because we fear not having friends at all. Well, then they're not or real friends. Like, you already lost time. that battle. Are they bullying you? Is that what he's saying? Getting bullied? You already lost that battle. Not having friends at all? You don't have friends. You already lost. What are you talking about? You're delusional. Engaging in meaningless chatter when we have much more productive bullying you? and pleasurable things to do. The term toxic friend is widespread these days. Even though we may realize these people are bad for us, we're afraid to let them go because we fear loneliness. So humans often seem to prefer destructive relationships to solitude, probably because the thought of being alone terrifies many. We depended on the herd for survival for many generations. Sounds like my Social mom. Social ostracization often meant death. The drawbacks of communal living we had to take for granted. But today, many societies allow us to survive with minimal social contact, which gives us the luxury, to a great extent, of not having to associate with people that make us miserable. As Robin Williams famously stated, <laughs> I used to think <laughs> not the if they're at your fucking job was to end up all alone. I think I it's actually kind of get along with my coworker though, even though we've had some religious debates, wherein he just looks—he sounds so stupid. I just wanna. Not. The worst thing <laughs> in life him, is ending up with people who make you feel all alone. End quote. Is there a case for social minimalism? Or do we need friendships to satisfy our social needs? 
Psychologist and author Dr. Daniel Morrison says that we humans don't need to have friends. Excuse How me? Do we need friendships to satisfy We don't need friends? Needs? I can't wait to hear this. Author Dr. Daniel Morrison says that we humans don't need to have friends. <sighs> he acknowledges the vital importance of inter-individual communication for human development. But he also states that because of this importance, we overemphasize the quality and intensity of social relationships. I quote, we need to interact with each other, but it is not necessary that these relationships reach anything more than a basic level of connectedness. It is nice to have strong social relationships, but it is not necessary for our survival or even our happiness. Give me like wh where are you basing this from though? Because I heard I've heard a counterclaim to that. I've heard you ain't getting shit done. I've heard it's horrible to not have strong relationships. I've heard it is absolutely it horrible for it you. It's not necessary for our survival. Or but this man says it's not necessary. Give me the give me the facts. I want to see some receipts. Simply put, it is not necessary for humans to have friends. End quote. Not for our survival Morrison or happiness. That many people struggle with making and keeping friends, and often think very negatively of themselves because of that. So it's not just the absence of friendship that's the problem, but the notion that there's something wrong with that. Mm. According to Morrison, a lack of friends is not wrong. Not having friends doesn't automatically mean that we're socially isolated and lonely, as there's a gap between social isolation and having friendships. And we can gain the same <coughs> benefits of friendship <coughs> simply by the possibility to interact with people. The so Morrison's ideas tell us that a minimal approach to friendships would be sufficient to satisfy our social needs. We deem so friendship just talk important, to people. but according to a study of about 4,000 adults, having our basic needs met and feeling competent in what we do is more important. If we compare these outcomes to Epicurus' hierarchy of needs, we can conclude that satisfying our basic needs is the cornerstone of our well-being. But, as opposed to what Epicurus believed, friendships may not be so essential. However, social interaction remains an important, beneficial part of human life. Okay. We might want to emphasize the importance of social interactions, especially in times when these are forcefully minimized. Also, in our increasingly individualistic cultures, many people lack social interaction, even when they have friends. Being without friends, in a traditional sense, doesn't seem so problematic. And when we consider the costs and downsides of having friends, it might even be preferable at times. At but times. Minimizing social interaction yes, to I the extreme probably not. isn't a good idea for most of us. We naturally crave connection with people, mm -hmm. it nourishes the spirit, mm -hmm. even if it's just a friendly conversation with the cashier. Ah, oh, I need to do that more. Thank you for watching. So it's not just about the friends, it's about having good social interactions. So I should be trying to have good social interactions wherever I can. Like, I really should be. I need to get my social interactions up. Because, foo, I don't know what 2020 did for my health, man. I mean, for, like, Jesus Christ, I think about some shit. I didn't go outside. It's just like, I was never as much of an athlete as maybe I should have been. But, you know, I ain't gonna cry about it. It is what it is. But it's always like, in 2020, man, I just didn't move. I was just like indoors. I was just not going outside. I had moved, actually. I had moved from my place up, 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 up state a little bit. Um, moved up to this new school. It was like, it was super monogamous. I think that's the word for it. Where everybody else is the same and you feel like you don't really fit in. Which I never cared about fitting in. I don't feel like I fit in anywhere. Because I'm super unique uh, in my own way. Um, and it's just like, but it's just like, Oh, food, there was like way too many white people. Not that there's anything wrong with white people. It was just way too monogamous. <laughs> like, I was like the only Hispanic there, bruv. It was so weird, right? It was one of those like country ass like schools, bruv. It was nothing but like farmland out there. Motherfuckers was fighting. They, there was a fight in the cafeteria because some girl lost her vape pen, I think. She was like, oh, I need my neck. She was like, I need my neck, right? She was, she was like fiending for some neat, for some, <laughs> for some neck. Um, and, uh, she actually ended up getting into a fight at the cafeteria for it. And, you know, you couldn't even use the bathroom because it was motherfuckers smoking in there like day round, right? Like all throughout since the day, the, the moment that the day started until the, it ended, 
There was motherfuckers in school just smoking in the bathrooms. They just didn't want to be in school. They just hopped in there. They were in the stalls. And I had to take a shit a lot of the time, man. And I couldn't get in there because it was just full. They didn't, need, they didn't even allow you to walk around at lunch. Everybody needed to be in the cafeteria because I guess they just didn't trust what any of the kids would do. Right? It was horrible. Didn't really like it. Didn't make any friends there, really. Um, don't talk to anybody from that school to this point. There was one girl who liked me. I think she's cool, but I don't know what the fuck she's up to. <laughs> Maybe I should ask. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, man. I don't know. That is good to know, though. I'll consider that. I mean, I've, I've known... Maybe I need to do further research myself because I know that it's good for your health to have strong relationships. Apparently, it's really bad if you don't. I've heard. But this is saying, well, it's okay as long as you can just have... At least you can... As long as you can at least have social interactions, then you're good. And I mean, I mean I'm mean, i still not even having social interactions. It's summertime. So I, I guess I could go out of my way to have more whenever I can. Maybe I'll... If I see a cashier or something, I don't know. Maybe I could, but sometimes I feel like people don't... It's like, fuck, what do I even talk about, motherfuckers? I have so much to talk about, but for, like, ugh, I don't know. Some people just are boring, but like, just because I know some people are boring does not mean I shouldn't try. I need to shut up and just do it. Um, Fuck it, I'll try. I'll do that more. Right? Here's to... Having more social interactions, maybe it's not necessary to have strong friendships as much as I thought it was. I'll look into it, maybe. Um, which probably means I won't, because <laughs> I got some other reactions to do, right? And just like that, I'm going to leave it to you guys there. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, bam. Kind of went a little longer than I wanted it to. I'm sorry about that, but hopefully you guys still enjoy it. If you made it to the end, you're a fucking G, and I respect you a lot, right? I love you. Here's a kiss. You stayed on oh God. Uh, but <laughs> if you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, all that good stuff, right? Leave a sub, right? Leave a sub, that is good. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one, man. You know, I'll see you guys. Yes, sir. Take care. <laughs>